Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us continue praying to the Father to send us the Holy Spirit. Let us continue preparing our hearts to be a worthy dwelling place of the Spirit of God. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your Church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, which you tend the church of God, that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, 
men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O Lord, your power, the power, O God, with which you took your part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them within your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, 
in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we continue to hear the dramatic farewell speech of St. Paul to the church of Ephesus. He was about to leave them to go to Jerusalem. And before leaving them, as we heard in our first reading today, St. Paul asks them, to take care of themselves and to take care of each other, especially the faith that God has given them. St. Paul says, keep watch over yourselves and keep watch over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers. I know, St. Paul says, that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you and they will not spare the flock. Even from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from them. Bilang paghabilin sa kanila, sabi ni San Pablo, Alagaan ninyo ang inyong sarili, alagaan ninyo ang isa't isa, at alagaan ninyo ang pananampalatayang ipinagkaloob sa inyo ng Diyos. Do not allow anyone to destroy or even rob you of the faith that is given to you by God. My dear brothers and sisters, these are also the same words that we say to each other, especially during this pandemic. Let us take care of ourselves. Let us also take care of one another. It is important that we care not only for ourselves, but we also take care of each other. And not only physically, but also our spiritual life. We, we need to take care of our faith because there are many forces around us and there are even people who try to destroy our faith. And so take care of yourself. Take care of your faith. Take care of each other and take care of other people's faith. Alagaan at ingatan ang sarili. Alagaan at ingatan ang isa't isa. When we turn to our gospel, we also continue to hear the priestly prayer of Jesus that we could find in the 17th chapter of St. John. And in this particular section of the prayer of Jesus at the Last Supper, he prays for his disciples. He asks the Father to protect them. 
My dear brothers and sisters, this is a perfect example of how it is to take care of each other. Sometimes we think that we could take care of each other when we ourselves are the ones who do the caring for each other. But Jesus tells us that the best way to take care of each other is to pray to God and ask God to take care of us and to take care of the people we love. Gusto nating ingatan ng ating sarili at ang isa't isa, pero hindi lahat ng bagay magagawa natin. Marami tayong limitasyon, marami tayong kahinaan, marami tayong hindi magagawa. Kaya magdarasal tayo sa Diyos para ang Diyos ang siyang mag-alaga sa atin at sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Ang Diyos ang siyang mag-ingat sa atin at sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. And we need this very much in our times. We really need to pray to God to take care of us because there are already many things beyond our control. There are many things out of our hands. And so we have to trust God, to ask God to take care of us. My dear brothers and sisters, that is the best way of showing our care for each other. Not just in doing things to show my concern for others, but by praying to God and by asking God, to take care of the people I value, of the people I care for. Hindi lamang tayo ang mag-iingat sa ating kapwa, ang Diyos ang mag-iingat sa kanila. Kaya siguro hindi lang sapat na sabihin nating mag-iingat ka o hindi lang sapat na sabihin nating iingatan kita pinakamaganda nating sasabihin, ingatan ka nawa ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take care of ourselves. Let us take care of each other. But above all, let us allow God to take care of us. As we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even as we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. This truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Christ who wills that no one be lost. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians may have faith in God's love and find unity in the one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That public servants may witness to the truth of their faith, especially in the exercise of their powers and, the, and in the fulfillment of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Christian faithful may strive to seek holiness in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may trust in God, who strengthens them with the warmth of his presence let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those who have died may live forever with god who is love let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let us pray in silence for our personal petitions 
Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Gentle Father, as long as we love one another, you live in us and your love will be complete in us. Receive our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after His resurrection, He plainly appeared to all His disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight so that He might make, make us sharers in His divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the prayers on the sixth day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. And today, let us ask the Holy Spirit to give us the gift of counsel. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. The gift of counsel applies our knowledge and understanding to the many concrete situations of everyday life. Counsel elevates the virtue of prudence so that we will choose the wisest course of action in a given situation, especially when we are perplexed as to the right choice to be made. Counsel endows us with a desire to act always in a way that promotes our sanctification and salvation in accordance with God's holy will. We pray that the Holy Spirit will richly endow us with the ability to judge rightly the situations that challenge our faith so that we may never waver along the path to holiness. Let us pray. Father, Father Send the spirit of counsel upon us for the accomplishment of your holy will in our lives, in the church, and in the world. Incline our hearts to your will, our minds to right judgment, our actions to what is good, so that living by the Holy Spirit, we may truly be salt and light for others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. We wish to invite you to our healing rosary tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host for this evening's, evening's rosary is the parish of St. John de Pomosin in Alfonso Cavite. And so let us gather once again as a family, as children of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and entrust all our petitions and the whole world to her maternal care. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, ipanalangin mo kami sa Ama. Hallelujah.